dogs on patrol. Wild, right? But the American Academy of Canine Water Rescue is helping train dogs to save lives. And earlier I spoke with the Academy's president, Maria Gray, along with her trained dog, Angel. Uh, and Maria taught us all about these life-saving pups. Well, these dogs are really specially trained. They are first responders. They have tremendous joy to go out in the water. They have great bonds with their handlers, with their human handlers. So they love to play in the water, but more importantly than just play, they love to actually conduct rescues. They're very capable and highly trained to accompany the human handlers to go out, out long distances into open ocean water, lake beach water, jump off of boats, jump out of helicopters. They can save you if you're in distress in the water. Uh, and just watching the video, it's pretty neat to see. It looks like they have a life jacket on. It looks like they have goggles as well. And like, they just really know what to do when needed. Um, so what exactly goes into the training? How do you get a dog to do this? That's a great question, a great question. And first and foremost, what you need more than anything is a great bond with your dog. So the human handler needs to have a great loving relationship with their dog. You need basic land control, basic manners, basic obedience. And then you need a dog who's joyous to run in the water and play in the water. Once you get all that, once you've got that land control and that basic obedience and you get that joy in the water, then you start to teach them how to pull a person from a distressful situation, how to pull a boat, how to bring a life ring out, how to work with their human handlers to rescue people in need. Um, they also serve another aspect. They, they do a great job at educating people, just raising public awareness about water safety and teaching everyone how to stay safe in the water in the first place. First and foremost, don't put yourself in a situation if you can avoid it where you need the rescuing, but it's just so incredible to know that these dogs are capable of providing it. And I'm a dog lover, I'm sure you're a dog lover, and I'm sure so many people watching love dogs just as much as we do. So to see them with their gear on, it is adorable, but I think they also wanna see it in action. So I heard Angel might be able to demonstrate for us with the head trainer, is that true? Absolutely. So my one of my lovely head instructors, an incredible lady, Artemis, she's going to take Angel out right now. You're going to watch it. We have a person feigning distress, so I want to make that clear. This is an actual rest. We have another volunteer who's going to pretend that she needs help, and Angel's going to go out with Artemis, and you can see he's wearing his very special life jacket. They're going to go out together now and they're going to go rescue that person in the water so you see angel's going out and artemis is going to ride him to the victim maybe but losing you maria you're cutting out a little bit okay so Okay, Act so, together. There we go. Okay. You, you were cutting in and out a little bit, but I mean, what we're very easily able to see is that uh, Angel was able to go out with the trainer to rescue this woman in this simulation. So together they work to bring this woman to safety. I mean, it is incredible. And I also, if, if you're back and I think as long as we have full service here, I noticed Angel is in New Finland, right? Um, are most of the dogs of the same breed? Um, so let's talk a little bit about that. The new Fonlins are well suited for water rescue. They were originally bred by Vikings um, thousands and thousands of years ago to tow in Viking ships and to rescue man overboard. The new Fonlin has webs between his toes. He's got special a jaw that a lot of young people think is gross because he has all that drool. But that very ability to drool is what allows his mouth to hold an object like a rope in his mouth and bring in seawater, ocean water, and spew it forth so he can pull and tow somebody very effectively. He has a triple coat that keeps him warm. He's one of the only dogs that can swim in Arctic water to conduct rescue. However, we have found over the last 30 years or so that any dog of sufficient size with a great relationship with its human handler mm -hmm. can conduct water rescues. There are breeds that are designed for it. The Newfoundland, the Labrador Retriever, the Portuguese Water Dog, the Standard Poodle, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. But I have a German Shepherd. She's not at all a breed designed for water rescue, but she does a great job. Any breed can do it, even mixed breed. 
There's no judge me here. They're not called man's best friend for no reason at all. They are incredible for so many reasons and the fact that they're lending a hand in terms of water rescues and survival. We love them even more for it. Maria, thank you for sharing your pups. Maria Gray, um, president of the American Academy of Canine Water Rescue. We appreciate thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.